Hello there! Today I'm going to show you how to use this Melody Susie portable nail drill to make doing dip powder manicures so much easier. I'm not going to lie to you, I was really nervous to use a nail drill at first, but as soon as I figured out these three easy ways to use it, it completely changed how easy it was to do my dip manicures. So the first bit that I use all the time is this cone shape bit. It is perfect for going around the edges and blending your dip into your natural nail and it also saves you from hand filing which for me caused a lot of bleeding and a lot of roughing up my cuticles. So for this one, set your drill to a lower speed and you're just going to gently go around the edges again blending that dip into your nail and avoiding any ridges that might cause your nails to get stuck in your hair or anything like that that you don't want. It's also going to make the dip look a lot more natural as it blends into your nail. I also use this coarse bit and then I just simply pop on one of the sanding bits and this one is going to be so handy for buffing out your nails. I can't tell you how much time this has saved me personally. As soon as your sanding bit is ready to go, you just want to gently go side to side. Again, this is going to smooth out all of your dip and it's also going to save you a ton of buffing time. And last but not least is this coarse bit which is key for removing your dip powder manicure. So this is going to be really good if you are filing down your dip manicure or if you're going to use the soak off method with acetone. So what you want to do is make sure that you're filing off all of the shine from your nail and remember the more dip you take off the less time that you have to soak in the acetone so it's going to make your removal go a lot faster. So those are the three main ways that I use my nail drill for my dip manicures. I am confident this is going to be a game changer for you as well because it made my dip manicures go so much smoother and so much faster as soon as I started using these three bits. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe because I'm always going to be posting fun new nail tutorials and of course a little nail inspiration and whatever else fun we feel like having. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.